I haven't thrown in a really long time. My shelves are empty. I feel like the time has come. I really want to make some pots again, so see how it goes. Step one is always get my hair up out of my face so that it's not super annoying. And of course, hydration. Then comes wedging to rid the clay of any pockets of air. This is called the ram's head method because it kind of ends up looking like a ram's head. A lot of this, it's time to throw. So I messed up here and almost ruined the pot. You can see there's a really annoying wobble in it, but it was okay. I feel pretty good about this one. Cleaning the wheel is a very satisfying part of the process for me. I have this rubber kidney that I do that with. And then I save all of this excess clay. Taking a break, come out for a walk. The skies are kind of blue, which is so nice. Um, I feel like a sunny day really improves winter. Um, okay, so slightly regretting my choice of trousers. I think this is clay. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow. Thing is, I didn't bring anything to carry it home with. Mm. I'm gonna take it anyway because it's so nice. I usually bring a trowel and then like a box or something to like put the clay in. Wasn't prepared today. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> mm, this might not be the best idea, but I'm just... It's so pretty that I can't leave it. It's just so nice. It's got like multiple colors in it. Yeah. It? Wow. Okay, well, I'm taking you home. I'm gonna take this. I would love to take more, but I literally don't have anything to carry in. Um, my hands are like this now for the rest of the walk, but I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Almost home. Yeah. Almost home. 
a branch of this oak tree has fallen down. Um, and the other day I came with a pocket saw and just sawed off a little bit of this branch. Um, in hindsight, it's not like the greenest part of the tree. It's probably quite old, but um, I've made something of it. It's still a work in progress at the moment. Like it's worth mentioning that I'm not a barista and I don't actually know how to do latte art, but I do love coffee. The mugs that we drank from are two that I made myself, and I love this one because it has some Shropshire wild clay on the bottom. I left Dan to do his thing and went back to my workshop to trim some pots. nice and smooth. So here are two of the pots that I threw. Um, I'm going to attach handles now that they're trimmed and smooth but I'm also going to play around with some of the wild clay. This is the clay that I got from today's walk. Very aware of how weird this looks. Very aware. The handle is attached, handle number one. I definitely need more practice with that, but it's not the worst. I mixed up some pigment. Look at this beautiful rust color. It's kind of darker clay and this yellowy stuff. So I'm gonna paint them on that guy. Just gonna kind of go for it. Oh my gosh, I love that. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't really have a method to what I'm doing. I'm just going for it. <laughs> I tend to overthink stuff like this. I mean, hopefully it'll be okay. Do you reckon that's enough? One more stroke of this, maybe? Apologies for the really bad lighting. It's so dark outside, but look at that i have no idea what this is gonna look like when it's fired i'm but i'm just so surprised by how vibrant this natural clay from the earth looks really excited about this because if it works it'll be a very special mug my hair's gone crazy but yeah this one didn't go great <laughs> And try and fix it. This is the one that I feel like didn't go so great. The handle looks a little, yeah, like it needs some help, but there it is. First mugs of the year. I wouldn't usually just work on two mugs at a time um, and different ones as well, but I thought I'd start the year by doing something a little bit different. I did also try and throw with the wild clay that I found on the walk straight away without processing and filtering it like I usually do. Um, I don't know why, I was trying to be fun, but it was a complete fail. I think something really hard in it that's gonna cause some big issues. The biggest lesson I've learned here is that this is not a vibe. <laughs> it's really stressing me out. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> process this beautiful clay and try again another day. <laughs>